Realm of the Mad God is one of the most interesting games I have been playing for holy f a very long time. I just went on Realmai and my account is eight years old. Happy birthday, the meme. And it's really crazy because to this day, they keep on adding new things to the game, new content, new dungeons, new enemies, etc. It's f***ing crazy, and I love it. That being said, though, some are straightforward, I would say, and some are so f***ing hard, it's really, really crazy. Have you tried the new shatters? Like, what the? I constantly see new people get on the game, and I keep on hearing the same things over and over again. I can't follow the pattern, so I have to nexus. There's too many shots on the screen, and I'm getting overwhelmed. And last but not least, the one, the cream of the cob. I am not good at dodging. And while these are fair things to say, and I completely understand 100%, I don't think that's what the game is all about, though. Because, don't get me wrong, you either feel like you're a special flower that can dodge every little thing whatsoever, or you're not. If you watch my streams, you see that I'm definitely not that person whatsoever. And I died. But Big Natty Snack Daddy with his Dr. Pepper is about to hit you with a little razzle dazzle. And I'm going to talk to you about strategy. <clears throat> I want to take a moment to talk about screen space. And in the lens of a shoot 'em up, screen space is about controlling your environment. And what this means is not giving up more than a set amount of space needed in a fight with an enemy. In more realistic terms, it can look something on the lines like this. In the fungal cavern, you fight the crystal worm mother at the end. And when in one of the phases of the crystal worm mother, she will drop the crystal worm child. And the head alone can easily knock out newer players, straight delete them out of existence. Now in a realistic sense, I have to go after the crystal worm child, so then I can prioritize back to the crystal worm mother. Now how does this relate to screen space whatsoever? It's good to keep this in mind. The most dangerous spots on the board sometimes is the best spot to be in. And the key word from this is sometimes. This part of the fight in particular requires me to push up and deal damage because the more you let it sit on the board, the more shots are going to cover the screen. It's going to be harder for your whole party to navigate. Thus, it's going to make everyone nexus and nobody completes the dungeon. Another example is Archbishop Lucorix and his second phase. It requires you to push up and deal damage. That isn't to say you won't get your cheeks clapped in this game, though. What? What the fuck is- Oh my- What? But over time, you begin to learn and study up, use your past mistakes as lessons, and eventually you complete that dungeon. Nice! Okay, cool. But dodging. It's something that will always be here. This is a bullet hell after all. Some things are just unavoidable, but as you become more familiar with the shots, damage, and the effects that come with them, you begin to become increasingly better. This phase looks like a bunch of bullets flying around to the outside player, but you learn to break it down step by step and see things before and after they happen. This used to be a super hard phase that a lot of people didn't understand. Reason being is the portals can insta-kill you and give pet stasis which renders your pet useless. Oryx shots do massive amounts of damage. It's really a shit show here but now it's seen as a blessing by many. The portal provides small openings that are easily readable once you find the first gap, always within a few spaces after, which then gives you the opportunity to focus more on Oryx's shots. The community has even made a training map that covers this phase as well. It's training the body now so later it becomes natural. I want to talk about one more thing. There's two types of realm players in this game. People that play with their camera face down and people that play with their camera centered. If you play with your camera centered, you're a menace to society. It's a matter of preference. I get that completely. No shade towards anyone. If you want to play like that, go right ahead. I'm not your mom. I could be. But it's not surprising why Realm even implemented this type of camera change in the game. Vertical shoot-em-ups are more popular than horizontal shoot-em-ups. Reason being is because you're able to map yourself better with your character when it comes to that. With the easy controls of Realm of the Mad God, with simple WASD and camera rotations, and simple click mechanics, everything just flows naturally. It even activates your flinching. Sometimes when I'm in situations I don't even know I survive or how I survive, I just start catching a whole aneurysm. That, like, that's never happened to you? Like you're just out here fucking spazzing.